Hi, I'm Rick Kolk, and today I'm going to show you how to install VizSim Embedded along with the Texas Instrument Co-Composer Studio. Before we get started, we need to make sure that your computer has internet con connectivity, you're operating WinXP or newer, which includes Windows 7, 8, and so on, you have at least 1.5 gigabytes free disk space, and any existing copies of the Texas Instrument Co-Composer Studio are removed from your PC. This installation is a two-step process, and you must follow it in the order presented in this training video. Initially, we will install the Co-Composer Studio. We'll navigate to the TI website, and once at the website, we will select from the offline installers the Windows version with the latest release, 6.1.0. So here I need to, if you haven't logged in already, you will need to create an account with TI and you will eventually get the screen I'm showing you. Submit and your download should begin. Once the download has completed, you will have a zip file and within the zip file is located a .exe file, which is the setup file. So we'll double click on that. Initially, you'll want to extract everything to a folder. I recommend taking the defaults and the installation will complete. Now at this point it's advisable to verify that the installation has been completed successfully. We do that by going to the Windows Start button and looking at All Programs where we should see a TI Texas Instrument folder and in that folder there should be two subfolders one called CCS Uniflash 3.1.0, a second being Co-Composer Studio 6.0.1. And you can see that we're seeing those folders here. So at this point, the installation is correct so far. Next, we will install the VizSim Embedded application by navigating to the VizSim website. Again, if you haven't created an account here, you will have to. We'll go to the Download, VizSim Software section, and select VizSim Embedded. And once the VizSim download is complete, I will run the setup exe file. And we'll go through the VizSim installation process, which is pretty straightforward. I'm taking all the defaults. At this point, the install of this sim is asking if I have MATLAB installed. Well, I do not have MATLAB installed on this computer, so I am not going to install the VizSim connectivity blocks for MATLAB. At this point, the install of this sim gives you the option of installing the DLL block wizard for use with Microsoft Visual Studio. I'm going to say yes, and I would like to install an icon. Now with the VizSim installation complete, I'm going to confirm that VizSim Embedded operates properly with Code Composer Studio. In order to do that, I will launch VizSim Embedded and I will load a pre-existing application from the Embedded Examples folder. I will then generate C code for the example and invoke the Code Composer Studio compiler to create a compiled version of that file. After launching VizSim, we see the main VizSim screen. I will go to Embedded, Examples, Piccolo, and I will select the Blink F28069 file, which you see in front of you. I will then go to Tools, CodeGen, and you'll see the code gen properties wind window come up. Leaving everything at the default value, I will click on compile, which will generate code and compile the code. You will see the DOS window in front of you, and you will see the last command be the linker command, and you'll end up with a press any key to continue, which indicates the installation is functioning correctly. So if you had any problems with this installation, please contact support at vizsol.com. Otherwise, you're ready to start simulating.